Hey guys, it's Dr. Neil13. This is going to be a quick update. I'm just telling y'all what's going on. That's going to end up not being very quick because I don't shut up. And it'll end up being about 10 minutes long. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, basically, I'm just going to tell y'all what's going on because there's a lot of stuff that's changing in my life right now that's going on and been busy and stuff like that. Uh, summer's coming. I get out of school in a week. And I will be a junior. Awesome. So, um... That's happening. Going to be junior. That's cool. I also got a truck. Um, I got a 1989 Ford Bronco Custom four-wheel drive. Four-speed with overdrive. Stick shift. It's awesome. <laughs> so I can do like clutch burnouts and things like that. I'll insert a picture right now. Dude. Pretty freaking awesome. It's painted camo. It's the same exact thing that OJ Simpson ran from the cops in, so that's cool too. Um, other things that's going on, I got a job. Um, I'm now an employee at Hobbytown USA in Tyler, Texas. If any of y'all are in the region, y'all go check it out. I'll probably be there uh, Mondays and Tuesdays, 3 to 8. And I just got to get another job somewhere else because my truck gets about 10 miles a gallon. And... Yeah, minimum wage, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> um, what else is going on? As of RC-wise, RC-Y, I don't know. Uh, this is my Mini Revo. I'm so sorry I haven't been able to get this thing running. I just have had other things on my mind right now. I've been trying to keep these two things running and that, and this has just been sitting up there. I want to get it running so bad. I love this truck. Um... Right now, what it needs is new tie rods and push rods all around because they're they they work fine. They're not broke. They're just wore out. You can see that gap right there. It's like that on all of them on all the ends. So there's a lot of slop in there. Um, also, the pillow balls are a little loose. Not much, but they're they're loose, and that's no big deal. Um, all the bearings. There's two bearings in the hub on each side. So there's two, four, six, eight, eight bearings all around that are blown out, and the bearings that are in the differential. Um, I know for a fact the ones in the back are blown out, but I'm not sure about the front. So those have to be replaced. Also, the rear pinion gear for the differential is stripped out, so that kind of clicks around and stuff. Uh, what else is wrong with it? Um, I think that's it. The front bumper is broken. I just realized that. A second ago um, and one of the rear shocks has it isn't blown but it's just doesn't compress all the way I have to t take that apart and clean it and whatever see what's stuck in there also the ESC is blown out so I did run it through water and it blew up and I probably should have done that knowing this castle the motor's fine um, I'm thinking about buying a Vlenian 3M system for it but I'm trying to get this running as fast as I can for you guys I know y'all are eager to see it I'm eager to see it run around and do backflips and things like that. Can't wait. So I'm going to get this out of the way and let's talk about Emacs. So Emacs, it's not broken. It's just I've stolen parts off of it. And my LiPos died. They blew up. They didn't blow up, but uh, they are cheap. They were 12 bucks a piece and the cells aren't balanced and one cell won't work and stuff like that. So I have to get some new batteries for it, and I found out from a dude that you cannot run LiPos in this old Novak system. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to try and get some two 6-cell nickel metals for identical to run it in, or um, some 7-cells that will fit somehow. I might just sell the, this as a roller and buy um, a new modern Emacs roller so I can fit 7-cells, and it just looks nicer. Um... But yeah, that's what's going on there. Um, what else? We got my little Lozy. It's got a burnt out servo, I think, because the servo, you'll be turning it and it'll go all the way and then just stop in the center and start vibrating and spaz out. That's good. what's going on with that. Um, it should be running here pretty soon. Uh, there's my Rustler build. It's coming along nicely. Got my Proline body in there. 
Uh, this is my chassis from Jake S. Uh, I got a servo in here. I got to rebuild. Um, Blending system. It needs a bell crank. Uh, what else? Sorry, I keep burping. Just had a coke. Uh, tires and that's it. Just some other random little things. It's almost done. Uh, I got my little helicopters up there. Got my giant box of random parts and crap. That's probably a whole entire another rustler inside of there basically full of parts it's just I'm missing a few of them um got my big pile of batteries my Jado the awesome Jado sorry I just ran out of space but I'm gonna put the stock um A arm or stock shock tower back in it because what aluminum does is you put aluminum on something and it makes whatever it's attached to break it goes to the next weakest link like on this they had a steel uh spur gear which I do have on my slash, which is good because it has a um, whole entire steel transmission. But this has a plastic transmission, so if you put a, pla or a steel spur gear, it's not going to strip out the spur gear, which would normally would be the first thing, and you go to the next weakest link, which is inside the transmission, which means you have to disassemble the whole entire back side of the car, which sucks. So, I went to stock. I did downgrade it on this and upgraded on this. I haven't had any problems with it. This is running. So that's good. I'm going to get y'all a bash video coming up soon. Um, my old beater body, I plastidipped the bottom of this. Hopefully keep it together a little better, which is working out pretty cool. Um, see what else. I got this for sale if anyone wants it. Um, I, I don't know how much I want for it yet. It doesn't matter. Just give me a price. Uh, I do know they sell for $120 brand new, $130. Uh, it's a Lozy Mini Desert Truck. It runs. It's completely RTR. Uh, comes with a roller, a whole entire other truck, parts truck with a transmission and, and the ESC in there and some other things. So yeah, you have a whole entire parts truck with one random tire, <laughs> another body, another roll cage. This one's RTR. Uh, your radio is either going to be this one or just a Traxxas 27. Megahertz, not that one, but it's another one. Um, but yeah, it's for sale. If anyone wants that, you can have it. Also for sale is this. If anyone wants it, you can have it. This sells for $150 brand new, plus tax, about $160 something, $170. But it's brushless. It's the Lozy uh, 124 scale desert truck, or uh, SCT. And it is brushless. Comes with two batteries. Comes with this one comes with the one that's in there and it comes with this charger that charges your batteries in an hour so it's kind of a fast charger but it's a fast trickle charger I guess it actually charges it pretty fast but that thing hauls butt cheek um, what else I got, got going on got that uh, got some more gas my lipo box I keep all my lipos in a uh, bulletproof ammo box that the military keeps explosives with um, got my radios my fly sky quit working, the antenna got ripped off, so I gotta solder that back on. Um, yeah, that's basically what's going on. So, if anyone wants to buy those, y'all can hit me up, send me messages. Um, all of my RC stuff is for sale for the right price. I'm not selling it, I'm not getting out of the hobby, I'm just opening up new doors to getting more RC stuff. So, if someone wants to buy my Emacs, go ahead, um, hit me up, send me a price. I'm uh, pretty flexible on stuff like that. Um, I'll ship it out to you. Probably don't have to. I probably will pay your shipping and stuff like that because I'm an awesome person that way. But um, like if I sell that, I'm going to get something even better. So that's going to help y'all out. I guess they're just going to, y'all are going to like that because it's obviously going to make AF13 grow, make some awesome videos. If I sell this, I'd probably, I'd end up with like, Baja 5B or something like that, I worth trading and dealing and stuff like that. But yeah, if anyone, this anything for sale, if you want it, anything, look at this. Take take a big long look. If you want it, hit me up. I will send it out to you. But I won't sell it all. So if, any, if someone's gonna like, oh yeah, I'll give you two grand for all of it. No, I will not sell all my stuff because I'm still deeply in love with the hobby and I am not any less more in love with it than I was before any of it up, was up for sale. It's just all up for sale for opportunities to grow in the RC hobby. That's 
what did I say? This is going to end up being a 10 minute video. I said that at the beginning. But yeah, I probably should up, shut up now. Y'all comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, more videos coming up soon. Um, I'll be working at Hobby Town, so I get some videos and some exclusive stuff coming from there. Uh, again, if y'all need any help with RC stuff, I work at Hobby Town. So y'all go up there in Tyler, Texas. Don't use your hobby shop. Get in the airplane and fly to Tyler, Texas. Come to our Hobby Town so I can help you because I'm awesome. And it, it's, it's that worth it. So, <laughs> but yeah, y'all comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, more videos coming soon. Table of stuff. Bye.